Hello, my name's Annie. And my name's Callie. Welcome to the June edition of the Rutherford Report. We start off with news on the recent Rutherford Races event. On Wednesday 4th of May, our Rutherford Races team went to Rockingham Speedway to take part in the competition. One of the members, Bartosz, tells us more about the day. A team of Mark Rutherford students took part in the Rockingham Racing Competition in May. We built a car and managed to race against other schools in the country. It was an eventful day and lots of fun. On the 11th of May, another business breakfast took place in the Space for Learning. Students had the opportunity to find out more about engineering as a career. The event went successfully and provided vital information about one specific career path. On Monday the 9th of May, Mercury transmitted the sun and students were extremely fortunate to witness the whole transit. Thanks to Mr Stokes for organising the event and having access to the equipment. If you missed it, the transit can be seen on YouTube. Next, Year 7 were fortunate enough to attend an ambulance service workshop. Anushka and Ethan report. We're here with the Bedford Ambulance Service. We're here to find out more about their jobs and their careers in the NHS. Um, I've been with the Ambulance Service for nine years. I started as a call handler, progressed to a dispatcher. How many people in here have ever caught an ambulance? Yeah. Our purpose here today is to really educate people on when to call for an ambulance, what an ambulance is used for. Um, with two 999 calls every second, we're getting busier and busier. We really need to get out there that ambulances are for life-threatening emergencies and the alternatives on where to be treated for other injuries, minor illnesses. As a part of the Rutherford Report broadcast, we're announcing a brand new website where you can watch our reports and read our articles on rutherfordreport.com. You can find all our broadcasts so far and a variety of journalistic work, including reviews, world news and comics. Please check our site in tutor time after this report. Year 9 recently had the opportunity to go to Sadler's Wells in London to see a professional dance show. The students thoroughly enjoyed the trip and watching the dancing on a West End stage. We now go to Ethan who reports from the Arts Awards. Thanks guys. I'm here at the Arts Awards to find out who was recognised for their performances in the arts. The Arts Awards is something we've just newly created, um, similar to the PE scheme of having badges that recognise people's contribution to the arts. At the moment we've got gold and silver, bronze will be launched in September. Well, we were invited by the Arts Department to receive an award for our success and what we've contributed. I've actually been involved a lot in dance while I've been here straight from Year 9 all the way up to Year 13. It's, it's quite nice to be like appreciated for all the clubs that we've been doing yeah. and all the performances. We both auditioned for Fame and, and their dance, dance, dance company. company. Uh, I got involved in lighting, sound and stage, which is what we do in BTEC Performing Arts Production. Um, we actually selected the students for the Arts Awards um, based on their contributions um, to the school in the years that they've been here. And if you are somebody who is interested in taking part in extracurricular and perhaps being able to celebrate your own um, talents and your own um, what you can give to the school, then please come along to our extracurricular activities. We now go to Daisy for our monthly club news. Hello and welcome to the club news with me Daisy. Coding club happens every Wednesday after school in 111. Warhammer club takes place Thursdays after school, 3 o'clock in Space for Learning. Jazz band takes place Thursdays during tutor time in B6. Table tennis club happens Thursdays after school, 3 o'clock in activities. Rockford engineering club takes place Thursdays after school in 102. Lastly, Raspberry Pi club happens every Tuesday after school. Goodbye. We now catch up with Ethan on sports news. Thanks guys. The sports news for the month of May includes a year 9 B team tournament against Sharnbrook and Hastingsbury. In this tournament they came 3rd and 4th place. The year 9 athletics includes multiple record breaks. Raphael Buju broke the 100 meter record with 10.85 seconds. He also broke the long jump record with 5.85 meters. Mini came first place, followed by Rion Lewis in second. Shannon Rose smashed the shot put record by three meters with a score of 11.15 meters. Alex Bluiska also broke the 300 meter record with 5.61 seconds. Tia Wilson broke the 800 meter record with an outstanding 2.25 minutes. Remember, if you want to join any of these clubs, many more, speak to a sports teacher or look at the club board. That's all from me. Back to you guys. That's it from us in the studio. We'll see you next month for our July update. Goodbye. Goodbye.